I remember looking at famous monsters and looking at the photos of Jack Pierce doing Wolfman's makeup. And it was those in-between makeup stages where you see the, you know, you see the lines on his face and he's, you know, there laying the hair and singeing the ends. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. I mean, the, who, who would not want to make monsters for, for a job? I mean, I never really thought that that's what I was going to end up doing. You know, I was, uh, I studied pre-med in college and had interned at a bunch of hospitals around Pittsburgh, and I was kind of sort of on the fast track to be a doctor. And it was my friendship with George Romero that all of a sudden one day I went to lunch to visit him, and he said, hey, we got a green light, we're going to do Day of the Dead. Do you want a job? And it was just like that went to my folks and said, I'm gonna take a semester off of school and I'm gonna go work on this movie and then I'm gonna come back and I'll finish. And it's a done deal, but I can't not do this. I, at least if I do this one movie, I'll say that I got it out of my system. You know, I always looked at it as a hobby, which is probably why there's still so much of me that is a fan. I'm sort of a purist, so, you know, I, I watched, you know, The Exorcist again recently and just, uh, I'm astounded at the depth of that film. You stare at Linda Blair in that prosthetic and there's, you never once go, oh yeah, she's wearing makeup. You just, it just, it absorbs you and it pulls you in. And to me, a good special effect is one where you can't figure out how they did it. You know, I mean, the, the perfect, perfect example would be Aliens. You watch Aliens, Jim Cameron used every single trick in the book to make that movie. He had quarter scale miniatures, he had full size animatronic creatures, he had guys in suits, he had front projection, rear projection, every trick in the book. You feel like you can reach out and touch one of those creatures. It just feels real. There were fantastic, amazing, imaginative movies that were done with just sheer will, ingenuity, and imagination. And as, as far as I'm concerned, that inspires me. When you do special effects makeup, you have to wear a lot of hats. You know, you have to know how to work with actors, you have to know how to set the camera up, you have to know how to choreograph the sequence to optimize the special effect. The process is to me, one of the most exciting parts about it because that's when, you know, all bets are off and, and you really can explore any direction that you want. I would say I feel satisfied when, when people appreciate the, the level of expertise that we bring to a project. You know, The Walking Dead was a show that we not only designed all the zombie makeups and we designed all those characters, but I also was the second unit director and a consulting producer on the show. So, you know, I was kind of the onset zombie expert. And I was able to take everything that I had learned from every other zombie project that I'd done with George Romero and Planet Terror with Robert Rodriguez and Joe Dante and all these people that I'd worked with. And, you know, when you're working on a movie, you're like, man, you know, next time I, I got an idea, next time we're gonna try this. So Walking Dead was, was the culmination of a lot of years of experience. And I'm so proud of that project that I don't even know how, I don't even know how to react. It's, it's really strange. When I watch that show, I feel like part of me is there. And that, that is a fantastic feeling. You always have a duty to your audience because your responsibility is to put something on the screen that challenges them, that they haven't seen before. If you just turn out the same thing over and over again, they're gonna get bored. Very much like I would have been bored. You know, I mean, I make stuff that I would wanna see. I forget sometimes that, you know, I do conventions every once in a while and I go to, you know, I go to shows and I sign autographs and I meet people and I'll have a little kid come up to my table say, oh, you know, my favorite movie is From Dust Till Dawn. I'm like, you're too young to watch From Dust Till Dawn. How old are you? And the dad's like, I'm sorry. And I, you know, I say to the kid, I said, you know, I was you. I said, when I was too young to see Dawn of the Dead, I remember meeting Tom Savini and, and look what, where I am now. Look what that did to me. So I always 
meet people and, and someone comes up and says, oh, you know, I just loved Sin City and I, I just thought that the work that you had done, you know, to me, I, I take that as a, the ultimate compliment because maybe that person will take their inspiration from what we had done and translate that into maybe they'll become a writer, maybe they'll become a director, maybe they'll, you know, they could be the next wave of, of filmmakers. So you never know, you never know when you meet people.